bed, don't be shy Jolene can't wait to meet you For a trailer park Christmas The trailer park way With a brand new recipe Every day Sending videos from her trailer she is Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the Trailer Park trailer way. Park Merry way. Trailer Park Christmas. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Hooray! On the first day of Christmas, let your love get to me. Hello, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen. And welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2017, where I show you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. Well, I'm so excited to be spending the holidays with you. I've got a video every day from December 1st through December 25th. And I've got a calendar at my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com, that you can follow along. And I see here today that December 1st says Spaghetti Soup. Yes, that's right. A hearty soup with a taste of spaghetti. Now, spaghetti is something you throw together for your family when you're running around crazy at the last minute. Well, let's make a hearty soup and just up that a little bit for the holidays. I'm going to show you how to make it up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2017. I'll be right back. Here's a tip about Trailer Park Christmas. I will release a video every day, but I don't know when I might get up off the couch eating cookies to upload the video for the day. So hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and you'll know when the video is up for the day. Welcome back. Making my spaghetti soup is really simple and up here in a big uh, pan that we're going to make the soup in, I can also brown the ground beef. And I've got about a pound or a pound and a half of ground beef here. And we're going to start sizzling this up and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that we have the ground beef sizzling up, we're going to dump in about one small onion or about a half cup of chopped up onion in there. And we're going to brown this up until it's well done. Okay, now that you have your beef and your onions browned up, you're going to add two cups of beef broth right on in there, just like that. And you can use any tomato-based um, spaghetti sauce, and you need about 14 ounces, probably not the whole jar. Um, you can use any, like, tomato or onion or basil, and that's just going to go right on in there, just like that. And then... You need a 14.5 ounce of petite diced skinless tomatoes that you haven't drained right on in there, just like that. And you don't have to use these, but I like just, uh, it makes it look so classy. It's sliced mushrooms, and this is a, a just a four ounce container of that right on in there, just like that. Now you can spice this up to any way that you like it. You can get it spicier. And this is a half cup of green pepper chopped up right on in there, just like that. And, you know, you could use the last bit of zucchini that you have probably in your refrigerator. And I've just sliced that up. And some of y'all are really into that spiral zucchini. You could certainly use that. And I've just got a little bit of Italian seasoning I'm going to put in there. And you can certainly add any spices that you like. Um, and this is some garlic powder. Just probably about a half teaspoon of that. And to really make it a spaghetti soup, I'm using a tricolor little rotini pasta. And that's going to go right on in there, just like that. Look how simple that was. Now, I'm going to mix this around. And we're just going to have this kind of bubbling. And the pasta is going to cook up real nice. And it's going to take about 15 or 20 minutes or until the vegetables are tender and the pasta is ready to go. So I'm going to check back with you in just a moment. And there you have it, my spaghetti soup. And 
Wow, that smells really good. And this will be a great recipe to just throw together on a nice cold winter's night. And it definitely is a change from the regular spaghetti dinner that you throw together. And look at that zucchini and the mushrooms and the tomatoes. And like I said, you could change it up. Leave a comment down at the bottom of how you would change this. And I just can't wait to try this. Let me get a little bit of everything here. Mmm! Taste that flavor and wow, the tomatoes and the onions and mmm! The crunch of the zucchini or you could even use squat. I don't know the difference to be honest with you. Mmm! That with some crusty bread will really make a nice cold winter's night. Mmm! That is really good. Mmm! I hope you get a chance to make my spaghetti soup. And if you do, send me pictures at jolinesugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to visit the website trailerparkchristmas.com and download the free calendar because I see tomorrow there's another recipe and it is bread machine cinnamon rolls. I'm going to teach you how to cut out some of the steps and make some cinnamon rolls using that bread machine that's gathering dust in the back of your trailer. So I can't wait to spend the holidays with you. I'm so glad to be back. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Follow me all over the place. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. I love you, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out for that.